Tonight marks one year a family is without their son, brother, and friend. One year ago, Bryce Persang was found shot in the front seat of a car in Columbus. New at 11 tonight, Olivia Eugenio sat down with Bryce's father to talk about what he's doing to honor his son's memory. He was 24. 24 years can't help but feel like a blink of an eye after 365 days of gone. I think about him every day. The goofy kid. <sighs> he was sarcastic. He was obnoxious. <laughs> he was he was kind of a jerk, but he was fun. He could make you laugh. Exactly one year ago, Bryce Persang was found not breathing inside of a Honda Fit after he was shot. He was taken to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. I don't know. It was kind of surreal. It's and I don't even know if a year later I've come to terms with it. Columbus police say 20 year old Tahir Saeed and 19 year old Hanut Abdul are suspects in the shooting. Both have been charged with murder and have warrants out for their arrests. Now, technically, this case is considered solved by Columbus police as they have identified the two people that they believe are responsible. I had the chance to speak with the lead detective on this case, and she said they haven't been apprehended as they left the country shortly after this homicide. She he said last she heard they were in Somalia. It's it's literally almost like walking through a dark tunnel with absolutely no light. So Bryce's father is making his own light by raising money for teddy bears. Kind of a quick way to do it was to do these bears and to put on the birth certificates that they're from Bryce. Each bear going to a child in need. And I'm And I'm hoping that it just keeps going. Last year, the Bears went to the Ronald McDonald House. Stephen isn't sure where they're going this year, but wherever they go, a piece of Bryce is going with them. I'm hoping it goes on after I'm gone. Olivia Eugenio, 10 TV News. And if you would like to help buy teddy bears in honor of Bryce, we'll show you how at 10TV.com and the 10TV app.